Alright, we should be arriving there now. So we're arriving at the tower now. Development! Yay! So yeah, we're at Gamera Tower. I don't care if I mispronounced it. Yeah. Here we go. Those two to the right are going on about him being a geohound and uh, pretty much taking the piss. Going on about, ew, he's a, he look, the uh, rumors are true and stuff and all that crap. Yeah. Pretty much telling him the all is for now his mission is finished. He has to wait for the ceremony to be over. Then he has to take her back. That's pretty much what they're telling her, and he's not allowed to go in the building under any circumstances. And he made a bad joke about him make them going on about him. And then he just said, yeah, I'll just be outside here thinking unclean thoughts, pretty much that's what he says. And and Tessa pretty much pers uh, asks if she, he did anything rude to her. And she outbursts, telling her no, and, whatnot, and that's pretty much it, and they walk in. Isn't this exhilarating? Don't, don't worry, it gets more exciting. It's the kind of game that rewards you the more you play it. <laughs> He's going, this is why I hit church, everything takes so goddamn long. Oh, that looks pretty cool. What's going on about the mural? Ancient ruin. This guy tells him that he reckons it's from before the Dark Age. Light Age, pretty much as old as old could be. Battle of Good and Evil and all that. And here we go. Kick ass music kicks in. Oh my god, special effects. Something, some shit's definitely hit the fan. Something fun is going on. No shit, Sherlock. A head reader with a uh, common sense. He said he couldn't go in. Well, his job entails that he gets he's a bodyguard for Helena. If anything bad happens to her, he's in the shit. So really, no matter what they tell her, he's gonna go in there because it's <laughs> it's up on the line. Video pretty much going, where the hell did all these monsters come from? I'm just gonna go and, and that's it. 
Now, this is the best bit. I don't know if the... Well, the thing about it, it's only at the beginning of the game, so this placement is a bit of a but Because um, you, you can recover using save points, any monsters near save point, you can go all out. You don't need to hold back whatsoever. You can fucking slaughter the bastard! Then go back to the save point recover, and then go out and slaughter some more! Then go back to the save point. Yeah, it's not really... Hey, it's not cheating if they put it there. Yeah. And it's like I said, you, know, you can't grind it in this tower because no, the monsters once you come, they don't respawn. In a way, see, think about it. You're not really cheating. Only be cheating if you were using it, you're taking advantage of it to grind. Level grind, that is. <laughs> These guys were no real challenge. There you go, see? Plus, this way I can clear this floor quicker. Saving us time. Recording time, that is. Ten can slash. This is the most basic move, and it's used to cancel attacks and special <laughs> attacks and no magic. Challenge. Oh really? You know, we'll use it most of the time when we want to do a lot of damage and we want to cancel an enemy's attack. All characters have that as their first attack or cancel attack. All other attacks are um, more powerful, but they don't have the cancel effect. You get what I'm saying. It's, so all the other moves are more for hammering and taking down health a lot quicker. First move, your technique you learn, Tenkensai Slash, is pretty much a powerful move used mostly for the first thing and then his attack. Because you can level up abilities and attacks, we can upgrade that one move so it increases in strength and speed so you, if you think about it, the faster the move is used the quick more times you can cancel an enemy's attack so it's very important of course I all know this because I've played this so many times And Ryuda would own fan. Kill him. He's a level 10 at the very beginning of the game. That's always, I always thought that was pretty cool. It's like you're trying to think about it. He's a mercenary. He's not going to be a level 1, is he? He's been fighting for a while, so you've got to imagine it makes it more realistic to have him a level 10. Ten seconds slash. And any of you watching my Final Fantasy 12 that's probably will know that. <laughs> you may know that. When party members join, they're usually higher level. Near some parts of the game, it's usually near the start of the game. It's the other way around for Ryuda. He's usually higher level than the guys joining this party. It's more another way of trying to show off his power, the power difference in a way. If you get what I mean, make it seem high level because like he's a more powerful character. After killing this, I'll probably edit out anything else on the floor. I'll kill, and I won't put that edit that in, and then I'll head up to the f next floor. Cause it just means what you've just seen there, but over and over again, to all the spiders on this floor. Oh. And